Today on Sweet Honey Code, we're going to take a look at how we could link a Shopify product to a WooCommerce product on WordPress. So let's get started. So we're going to talk about the setup here. First, we have a WordPress website with WooCommerce set up already. And then we have a Shopify store. So why would we want to bring a link to a Shopify product over to WooCommerce store? Well, the reasons can be many. Maybe you're trying to migrate over to Shopify. Uh, maybe you just want to test things out, things like that. But the truth is you certainly can. And we're going to dig into that today. So the first thing is over on your Shopify store, make sure you've installed the buy button sales channel. You can do this by clicking the plus button on your Shopify store and enabling it. You'll find it listed here and you would just click the plus button to add it and it'll send you through the usual buy button setup. So once I have that ready, I'm going to go right away to my test product that I want to use, which is a million, an alien math game board here. Awesome. So I found my product. So what do we do from here? Well, over here where it's more actions, you can click on it to see well, what additional things you can do with your products. So depending on your setup, you might see some different results. But we see embed on a website, create checkout link are the two specific ones tied to the buy button. These other ones are additional apps I happen to have on this Shopify store. So this create checkout link, when I click on it, will direct me over to the buy button app to get a very specific link to use. Now this link will take people directly to the cart on the Shopify store. So if I'm looking for more of a checkout experience to where they can add things to cart and, and that, there is another solution that will help solve a full embedded Shopify store on a WordPress website. But let's just try this out. Maybe this is a more of a runoff specific product. So I'm gonna click copy link to have it uh, available to me. So now I'm going to switch over to my WordPress website. So over here on my WordPress website, the next thing I want to go do or where I want to go is to my products here. So I don't quite have a product set up here. So I'm just going to, for now, edit an existing product called Alien Squid. I'm just going to click on edit here. Awesome. So now that we're here, what do we do next? So as we scroll down, we're going to come to this area called product data. So product data, depending again on the product you have, will give you a few options. So right now I'm just going to switch it to external affiliate product. Switching this over will present us a product URL. This is where we're going to paste in that link that we just grabbed. Just like that. Now, of course, you might want to put in a text for your button. And so for now, I'm going to say buy product and a price. So make sure this price lines up with the price you have on your current store. So I'm just going to say $10 because people will be confused. So once I'm done, I'm going to click update. Perfect. So now it's updated. So let's go view this product now. So everything looks usual for a product on WooCommerce, but now there's going to be a big difference. I'm going to click the buy product button. Clicking this now will take me right over to that Shopify URL, just like this. So the, of course, you would see different information. The customer com can complete all their information and purchase this product from the Shopify store. Now, keep in mind, this customer information will not sync back to your WooCommerce store. So this will be 100% handled by Shopify. So this solution is more just linking off to a specific Shopify product, handing over the rest of the process to this store. So that's very important to know. This concludes this video. We were able to take a special checkout link from a product on the Shopify store and add it to a product on WooCommerce. A very unique scenario, but it's very much possible. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if there's something else you've been curious about, especially with things like Shopify or WooCommerce. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.